mean, I know the best part is the networking, but you will have plenty of time at the end of the discussion to exchange cards and business cards and uh, opinions. And I think we're going to help you learn who, uh, who is participating after our discussions and our small uh, interventions. So I'll try to keep it simple. Um, so uh, we have distinguished guests, um, EIF members and friends that I want to welcome also and uh, thank them for making this event possible and uh, also our chair of course of EIF. Um, I want to welcome you for today's debate. It's FinTech Transforming Digital Economics and the Economy. Um, a special welcome goes of course to our colleagues uh, MEPs who are here with us. Uh, Ms. Nina Gill from the UK, Kathleen Ivan Sorin uh, uh, from SD also in Romania, Vicky Ford from the UK, thank you for being here, Mr. Lambert Van Nistelrooy from UB, thank you everybody involved uh, on legislation about fintech and banking from Econ Committee or their committees and very active. And I think it would uh, be really important to listen to them also. Um, a special welcome, of course, goes also to our speakers. We are, I will introduce one by one at the end of my introduction in a moment. Um, so, um, I'm Eva Kaili, I'm chairing, I'm hosting this event. I'm uh, chair of STOA. I'm working, this means this, the Scientific Foresight Unit, so we deal with new technologies, more specific. Uh, it's part of ITRE. I will provide uh, members of the parliament with uh, information so that they make the right decisions and no mistakes, but smart regulation, hopefully, and uh, some studies that could be benefit them. And also working with ECON and ITRA, and this means we are doing a lot of legislation along with uh, uh, Katalin Stevan on the um, uh, FinTech report mm -hmm. of ECON. He's the shadow reporter and uh, um, doing an excellent, not easy job there. Um, so tonight we have market participants, regulators, consumers that meet to exchange ideas uh, from where the fintech revolution is coming about. Uh, I think we have many questions that need to be answered the next uh, period of time, uh, along with the legislation. Who is fueling it? So which are its enablers? What are the technologies it uses? And so the internet, uh, the web and blockchain. Is it really disruptive uh, for the market? and how fast it evolves in the sectors of clearing, payments, lending, investments. Also, how FinTech will benefit consumers in terms of better access, because this is our main concern for politicians, to protect citizens and to provide them for better access, easier, cheaper, and protect also, make them feel safer. Uh, price, a better price, quality, customer service, product simplification, and also try to answer questions of how this evolution affects the financial market, the growth potential of the economy, and the overall riskiness to the consumer and to the market stability as a whole. So um, I would say one of the main issues also is trust. I think um, since we have interesting developments in politics also with the UK referendum, and I have many colleagues here from the UK that I would like to keep them here, uh, excellent colleagues. Um, I think one of the problems of politics in Europe was the lack of trust to the establishment, and this was the answer to the referendum. So I think new technologies can help us regain trust if we're being there in a smart way to allow to evolve, but also protect citizens um, to make the, the best and the most out of it. So despite the different views on fintech, I think nobody can ignore that it's open banking, open banking, but of course uh, uh, in a protected way for the citizens and their data, as I said. It's a, it's a new reality already. Nobody can ignore that uh, brand new business models are emerging in the financial sector, and they challenge directly traditional models and actors who resist defending their business as usual sometimes mentality, and sometimes by exploiting the long-standing relationships they have with regulators. Um, so this is an interesting debate. However, in some part of Europe, some traditional uh, players are on the contrary using their established position to embrace uh, the fintech uh, revolution. Um, 
and outsource some, some parts of it. In particular, uh, nurturing the creation of ecosystems that are capable of producing new applications and new business models that can boost their digital transformation instead of feeling uh, disruptive. Um, so, I think I don't need to say more things. I could start talking about blockchain that I think is also a part of the new technologies and it will be part of fintech, but this will come uh, later on in the discussion. Um, and as the time is very limited, I will briefly introduce our speakers. Of course, you can find more details. Uh, the papers you have received, you need to unload them and get their business cards. Uh, so I will invite them also to be brief because the most interesting thing since we closed event is to exchange views and have a questions answers a bigger part of this um, event. So I would start from Mr. Roberto Viola, whom we uh, we meet quite often, a director general of DigiConnect from the European Commission. Uh, basically, he's uh, heavily funding this sector, so he will have very interesting things to share with us. I would like to welcome him and thank him for uh, helping us also with legislation. It's a very valuable experience. So please, the floor is yours. 